I want to talk briefly about genius. It's one of those things that is often a word that's often used um, a lot, and people get quite cross that it's used a lot. This person's a genius, that person's a genius. We're all geniuses. Um, well, we're not all geniuses, um, but on the other hand, I think we should use it more than we do, or be allowed to use it more than we do. Um, my definition of genius is quite simple. It is about invention and influence. So creative or scientific invention, but let's say we're taking invention as creating something new. And that thing that we create new then goes on to influence other people. And in that sense, um, there's a lot written at the moment about Kanye West, he's mad, he's an egomaniac, he's a megalomaniac, and then lots of people say yes he is, but he's also a genius. Um, and I always think they're right, he is a genius. Um, much of what he does is full of invention. He has a kind of surfeit of creativity. That's part of the reasons, I, one of the reasons I think he's slightly bonkers, is he's just kind of completely full of creative energy. Um, Jesus, which I think is one of the great records of all time, is endlessly filled with constant shifts and changes. Um, Lou Reed, before he died, uh, wrote a, a review of Jesus, um, talking about this thing that it, you don't know what he's going to do next. Um, and everything that Kanye West does has some impact on other recording artists. So, you know, Beyonce's next album felt like she'd taken from, from Jesus. Um, and obviously the earlier work was very influential, you know, across the, across the, you know, the, the hip hop and rap genre. Um, I think another interesting, um, person, I mean, you know, if we want to talk about kind of geniuses in that sense, you know, Prince, absolutely. Um, and, but I think actually Jimmy Page, the guitarist and producer of Led Zeppelin, if you listen to Led Zeppelin now after what, 30 years, every track does something unexpected. Um, he's always thinking about turning what they're doing and, and shifting and uh, challenging expectations. There is seldom beyond the first album ever a uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus song. Um, and in a sense, that's what genius is. It's, it's, it's challenging our expectations, taking creativity and looking for new ways of doing things. Um, and then us listening to it or reading it and feeling that something new has been done. And in its newness, we feel we must grasp it and we must try and do something with it. We must, um, uh, we must kind of take it within ourselves and see how we, we can express this subtly new language. Um, and so, um, you know, I think we can use genius, but we have to think, is this person being not only just creative, but inventive at the same time? Are they challenging expectations? And then... Does that have influence? Because obviously we can challenge expectations by making the most god-awful noise that no one listens to, but no one's going to be influenced by it. Although you might, some might think that that's the case with Kanye West. Um, so that's it. Genius is, is invention plus influence. And in terms of books, and writers, because this is mainly what this is about, and not uh, music. You know, you have someone like Hemingway. Um, he did something very subtly different with the sentence, and we were changed after it. Um, who else? Writing is slightly kind of subtle. And um, the Bokov, of course, and. Um, can't think of anyone else. Um, off my, I mean, it's it's slightly easy with poetry. Um, 
I'm trying to think of novelists now, and I can't. Um, but there you go. This really isn't about specific art forms. It is about um, the definition of genius, which I think um, I have done. Um, so feel free to use it liberally, but correctly. Thank you.